as Madeline White went inside the jail and joins us live in studio with the details. Yeah, Roland, how many suspects are released back into society before their trial date depends on two things. One, their assessed risk of harm to the community, and two, how much room they have in the jail. Well, because there's such a squeeze happening at Canyon County Jail, authorities tell me several hundreds of admittedly risky individuals are being cast back out into the world. We've had up to and including homicide occur while a person was out on pretrial release. After a person is charged with a crime, a judge decides whether they should be released before their trial or incarcerated due to the risk they present to society. But there are a percentage of people that do need to be in a jail. Authorities say the problem is Canyon County Jail was built for 477 inmates and there's been a 141% population increase since the jail was built. Now they say there's just no room for them. So judges are easing their rulings. This year, all knows that we're above what our capacity is at. So the judiciary is a more lenient in giving people time to get out of jail. And of the 700 men and women who are currently on pretrial release, he says there are 400 some people that are on pretrial release that do not meet our risk assessment. No wonder then for the recent crime increase in Canyon County. You're not being held accountable. And then if you are arrested again, chances are you're going back out again. We had one individual who was arrested three times on felony possession of methamphetamine. It was only after the third time the judge says, you know what, I've let you out the last two times, but we're probably going to keep you inside for this time. This causing criminals to continue committing crimes and presenting a clear public safety issue for the community. Someone who just robbed your house, where, what do we do with that person? Do I give them a ticket and say, hey, show up to court in two weeks? It, you know, you are a victim and the victim needs to have some sort of, of assurance that I'm not going to get robbed again tomorrow. As a response, Canyon County Jail and commissioners are presenting a bond to the public May 21st that would provide a new jail facility of more than a thousand beds to serve projected needs over the next 30 years or more. The bond would cost property owners approximately $94 a year. And that bond is for $187 million, but either way, the jail is still spending taxpayers' money. For example, right now, they're leasing trailers to house female inmates in the parking lots, which they say is a cost of $12 million. Then, due to the overcrowding, they're also renting beds in other county jails, which costs taxpayers' money as well. Live in studio, Madeline White, six on your side. Okay.